It has taken 30 years for The Normal Heart, the Tony Award winning play, to become a film. It tackles the early days of the AIDS crisis. Oscar nominee Mark Ruffalo stars as Ned Weeks, an advocate for the gay community struggling to raise awareness. We're going to talk to Mark in just a moment. First, here's a look. We've been waiting for 14 months to see the mayor. It's taken us a year to get this meeting with you. You're an hour and a half late. Have uh, you well, told the mayor I'm, there's an epidemic going on? Oh, uh, says who? The government. Which government? What, our government? An epidemic. The Centers for uh, Disease Control declared it 17 months ago. You can't not know this. Could you please reduce your level of hysteria? Certainly. And we are so happy to have Mark here with us. It mm. is, boy, so powerful. Great cast, great story. Tell people a little bit about your character, Ned Weeks. Uh, Ned is um, was a, a celebrated mm. novelist uh, writer um, who uh, kind of finds himself um, on the front line of the outbreak of AIDS um, in the early 80s, and he is sort of pushed into taking a lead, a political lead on um, informing the world and his community of what's happening and what needs to happen in order for them to survive. And he's the alter ego of the playwright, Larry Kramer, Larry Kramer who said he was Larry so Kramer. flattered that you, because you are outspoken, you're, you're an activist yeah. as well. Yeah. And, and what did you take away knowing what it is that you like to speak up and, and speak for those? Take away from the film. So take away from the film and being and playing that role in particular, because he's you consider him like the modern day activist. He's yeah, I think he's the he's pretty much the godfather of modern mm. day activism. What and whether it's employed on the right or the left or the middle, the, yeah. these people mm, sort of perfected modern activism. And what what I really got from him though was how much love the guy had. Mm. And that's kind of what won out for them, what carried them through these amazingly difficult times and cruel times was their love for each other, their love of America, the idea of what democracy really is, and um, their sort of compassion. And he, he really speaks with authority, with moral authority, because he does come from that place. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said it like that because it comes through. The love comes through and that is something that is so universal. And don't you think, because we've seen it with other films, that there are younger generations that aren't really quite aware of the struggles that have gone on and various, uh, and various issues. So it, it brings a light to a new generation, don't you think? Yeah, I, I, you know, this, this time in American history, modern American history, really wasn't um, highly sort of covered by the media. Mm -hmm. The alternative media, yes, but not the mainstream media. And, and I heard that it takes a culture 30 years to be able to reflect on itself in, in a way that, it's, that it can integrate uh, a certain time in its, in its life. Um, just like it took 30 years for us to look at Vietnam mm -hmm. and to really take that in and, and assimilate it, I, I think that we're ready to look at what the AIDS outbreak years were like. Who were the heroes? Who were the villains? Um, and, and remember, uh, as a whole generation of young people, a, a significant part of our history. Yeah. It's, it's really going, I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to open a lot of eyes. And speaking of young people, they like superheroes too. Yeah, and they're, they're, I do they're, that too. <laughs> no, they, the Avengers, <laughs> Hulk! The Hulk. So coming back? Oh yeah, Hulk's coming back with <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> There's, uh, we're working on Avengers 2 right now uh, in London, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's probably the best fight scene ever. <laughs> bar none, bar none. Well, you are a true Renaissance man, Mark Ruffalo. Oh, you really you. are. You thank you just run the gamut, and just always a pleasure to have you here. And this is an important film for people to see. I thank so. you very much. The thank Normal very Heart much. premieres on HBO Sunday. May 25th.